Welcome to Pure Tips, Purify Plus knowledge expertise directly from our developers. IBM Rational Purify Plus is a dynamic analysis tool that enables you to detect hard to find memory errors, identify performance bottlenecks, quantify the effect of performance enhancements, and identify areas of code not being properly tested. This is a tip for Purify. Purify is the renowned memory error and memory leak detection tool designed to help developers write faster, more reliable code. It works like a super debugger to track down tricky bugs so you can spend less time debugging known problems and avoid shipping unknown pro problems. This video will show how to use demo programs shipped with the product as practice to easily identify runtime errors and dynamically fix code and demonstrate best practices in action for debugging code using Purify for Windows. In the install folder, you will find the provided program stock.exe. After purchasing stock and attempting to view a portfolio, the program crashes. Don't worry, we'll do this again later in detail. The Windows error box that pops up gives little to no information on what went wrong. Where do you start investigating a fix for your code? Now let's try running the program from within Purify. Select File Run, and in the program box we choose the same path or can open a dialog to select the executable. And then hit Run. As the application starts, you can see that Purify is already picking up several errors in red and warnings in yellow. We'll zoom in a bit here. I'll move the stock application off to the right so that you can take a look at the Purify information on the left. You can see the errors dynamically adding up as the program runs. Within the program, I'll select Trade Buy to purchase some stock. I will enter that I want to buy 10 shares of IBM stock. I'll then try to look at my portfolio. Well, there's no portfolio because I forgot to create one. However, when I try to close that window, the program crashes. Looking back to the Purify window, we see the final list of all the issues that were encountered by Purify during the run. We can easily identify the crash. However, the best practice for debugging would be to go from the top and work to the bottom. That means investigate and correct each and every error starting from the top, which is what we're going to do here. By clicking on the error, we can drill into the exception and see that it shows the function name and file location, and even shows the function source. If you're not sure what the error is or how to correct it, you can right-click and ask for a description. This will bring up a help dialog in your web browser. After finding out about the error, we can now go back to Purify and make the fix. You simply double-click on the error, and Purify will pop up the source code within Microsoft Visual Studio, provided the error occurred in source code that you have access to. For expediency, we already have the corrected code commented out. So we'll just uncomment the fix and comment out the wrong solution. Now that the code is fixed and because the source has changed, we have to rebuild before we can rerun the program. Looking at the status window, we see that it's compiling and will show a successful rebuild. If we rerun the program from within Purify again, we see that a lot of the errors have already gone away and all of the warnings just by fixing that one top error. Another nice thing is that you can easily compare the two runs by clicking in the left window pane on their timestamps. Looking here, you can see the difference between error reporting messages of the two runs. Also, I mentioned code that you have access to. You can find errors within just your code with a simple right click. Select Quick Filter, and that will show only the errors that you have sourced to. Dynamic debugging done easy. Thanks for watching another pure tip.